once stunning glaciers of our planet do not exist anymore. Our scientists are saying that more and more glaciers around the world are melting. Climate change appears to be the cause. Human existence is being threatened and we can't wait any more to act. Today, let me take you to the stunning Franz Josef Glacier in South Island, New Zealand. While I walk on the glacier trying to reach the top, I will tell you what the melting of a glacier actually means. Let us understand what glaciers are. A glacier is a huge mass of ice that moves slowly over land. Glaciers form when snow remains in one location long enough to transform into ice. Due to the pressure created by falling snow on the layer of ice below, glaciers move and flow like very slow rivers. Some glaciers are as small as football fields, while others grow to be hundreds of kilometers long. For my first experience on snow and ice, I was looking forward to wearing some cool snow gear. But we couldn't find one that fit me perfectly. Never mind, I was ready to go. To get to the Franz Josef Glacier, you begin with the helicopter ride. With gorgeous valleys and stunning mountains all around me, I am loving the first helicopter ride of my life. While I am enjoying the stunning views from here, I am feeling sad that you can no more hike up the glacier like people used to just a few years ago. Yes, the melting of the glacier has made hiking impossible. The landing was very smooth, better than any aeroplane I have been on. Glacier walks require some cool stuff like ice axes and crampons. My wonderful guide AJ helped me wear my crampons but for some reason he refused to give me an ice axe. The glacier was named after the emperor Franz Joseph I of Austria by the German explorer Julius von Haas in 1865. The Maori, the native people of New Zealand, call the glacier Ka Roimata o Hine Hukatere, 
Maori names are usually very long. I realized in the very beginning that I had to walk very carefully. One of the first things I noticed was melting ice. I could just bend down and touch freezing cold water. I just had to look up to see that many layers of ice had melted away. The next thing I noticed was a crevice, a deep crack found in an ice sheet. Crevices are formed when one layer of ice moves faster than another layer. After the initial moments, my guide started trusting me. He was letting me explore on my own. The first thrilling moment was when I got to enter an ice cave. With bits of fun here and there, my guide and I were really enjoying the walk. I continued climbing. I quenched my thirst with so fresh, the freshest water in the world for me. The climb was getting tougher. I rested for a few minutes. In the best storm in the world! Getting to the top is not easy. You have to go up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down. But I was getting closer to the peak. If I was worried, would I be here? See, there's a wee sitting here for you. And I grab my hand. We were almost there. I made it to the peak. It was such an amazing feeling. I wish I could climb further, but it was risky. It is very hard to imagine that this beauty may be gone and glacier walk may soon end. I'm sure we can do something. Do you know what can happen if we don't do anything? Lakes formed on top of a glacier during the melt season may cause floods. Large additions of fresh water also change the ocean ecosystem. Many types of corals depend on salt water for survival. They may not be able to adjust to a more fresh water habitat. Icebergs that have broken off from glaciers create hazards for shipping. Ice avalanches from glacier snouts can be very dangerous for hikers. My guide told me that climbing down was going to be tougher. It was fun to enter yet another cave. Along the way, he showed me a waterfall created by melting ice. We then picked up speed to get a closer look. I will never forget the beauty I witnessed at Franz Joseph. It was almost two hours on snow and I definitely wanted more even though I was hungry. another deep crevice. I wish it snows a lot during the next winter and Franz Joseph is full of snow. We were now getting closer to the point where the helicopter would take us back. I 
had never walked continuously on land for two hours. To do it on snow was feeling great. I got a rather scary view of the waterfall and its speed, but I could not go any closer. I wanted to do one thing to fight climate change. I promise that I will never waste any resources in my life and I will always recycle whatever I could. Each one of us creates so much wastage due to our carelessness. Food, water, paper, electricity and so many other things. Let us resolve to be careful and not waste anything. I want all of you to come enjoy the wonderful France Joseph. I will never forget the first glacier walk of my life and my responsibilities to keep Franz Joseph as it is. It was the most wonderful experience of my life. I am lucky to have walked on Franz Joseph Glacier and I want millions more to enjoy this glacier in the years to come. <laughs>